Hi, I'm John Denno, principal in the Pomo High School, and I wanted to review with all parents and students the Lucia Mar Unified School District COVID Prevention Program. I'm going to start with a quote from our superintendent, Dr. Paul Fawcett. The safety and health, the safety and health of our Lucia Mar students and staff is a top priority. Team Lucia Mar stands ready to continue providing the highest quality of education, care, and support for our students when we reopen to in-person instruction. All district employees are responsible for using safe work practices, following all guidelines, directives, and policies and procedures, and assisting in maintaining a safe work environment. The purpose of the CPP, or the COVID Prevention Program, on January 14th, the Department of Public Health provided us with an updated framework on how to support uh, school communities with reopening. The CPP communicates and describes our district's practices, guidelines, um, and how we will maintain a safe environment and learning environment for our students. Again, we look forward to your input and ideas that you may have or questions that you may have that may help us provide greater clarity. And then at the end of this presentation, there'll be an opportunity for that. The school district will educate employees on the following items. Number one, what COVID-19 is and how it's spread. Signs and symptoms of COVID-19 for us to be aware of the proper use of face coverings, uh, social distancing and hand washing procedures, guidance on cleaning and disinfecting, and how we screen staff and students. Some of the key safety components include face coverings, uh, which are, again are required of all staff, parents, students, visitors, anyone arriving onto campus, um, and then how we maintain six feet of social distance. Also, hand hygiene uh, continues to be a high priority. So washing hands with soap, a minimum of 20 to 30 seconds, use of hand sanitizer, which will be available all throughout our campus. And then the physical distancing, the importance of maintaining a minimum of six feet as much as practical, um, and then when required by public health um, and the district, desks will be set up so there are six feet of distance in between. Also, cleaning will occur daily for all frequently touched surfaces, but including but not limited to the following. Desk, tables, and countertops, light switches, doorknobs, and handles, keyboards, phones, mice, sinks, faucets, and toilets. Again, we've got plenty of supplies to ensure the proper uh, disinfecting and cleaning of all these surfaces. Also the daily health screener. Some students and staff are familiar with this as they may have uh, come onto campus for a variety of purposes. It is a, a requirement that everybody complete the screener prior to arriving to campus. Ideally, you would complete it prior to leaving the home. Um, if any of these responses would prohibit you from coming on campus, we wouldn't want you to leave the house in the first place. Again, staff are required to uh, complete this prior to arrival. Uh, caregivers will complete the screener for each student. Many of our high school students obviously are capable of uh, completing it in your presence. If you're a parent, uh, we encourage all students to download the Student Square app just for ease of being able to complete the screener and presenting the results when arriving on campus. So in terms of home isolation and quarantine, again, stay home. Any student or staff member with symptoms needs to stay home, need not to come into work and, and put others at risk. Um, and six staff members and students who test negative must not return to campus until documentation is provided of a negative test. The symptoms have significantly improved and they are fever free for 24 hours without using fever reducing medication. And then in terms of close contact, any students or staff who were in close contact with someone diagnosed with COVID-19 are to home quarantine in accordance with the uh, California Department of Public Health guidance for 14 consecutive days from the date of exposure, regardless of a negative test. And then six staff members and students who test positive for COVID-19 or do not get tested for COVID-19 must not return to campus until they have no fever, improved symptoms, and it has been at least 10 days since symptoms first appeared. So what does physical distance look like at Napomo High School? Well, our classrooms have already been configured in a manner where students will have a minimum of six feet of social distance. Our entry points onto campus um, have some social distancing markers down on the concrete. Uh, we ask that students, when arriving onto campus, um, utilize these as a, a, a place for their physical location prior to entering campus. 
And we encourage all students and staff to maintain a minimum of six feet of social distance once on campus. We'll have a number of entry points onto our campus just so that we can ensure that the screener is completed daily. The picture that preceded this was of the, uh, from when entering from the student parking lot. Um, we also will have an entry point closer to the gymnasium. We'll have an entry point, uh, oftentimes parents might do a drop off by Olympic Hall. And then students who may be walking uh, from Mala will, have a, will receive you as you arrive at the back of the school. So also, if, you, if our, a student is determined to be symptomatic while at school, uh, we do have a quarantine room and our school nurse will uh, happily welcome those students. Um, mo many times, obviously, we'll identify that when they're arriving onto campus, but in the scenario where a student becomes symptomatic while attending school, we do have a location just next to our nurse's office where we can have the student uh, uh, stay in quarantine until they can be safely transported home. Again, please remember wear a mask, maintain social distance, and continue to wash your hands. Once again, we look forward to your feedback. If you want to use a mobile device to scan this QR code and complete the survey, it would be um, welcome by all of us. Once again, thank you for all that you're doing to support the students and, uh, and support of our staff. Thank you.